In photos, this is from TikTok, Kim Jong-un leaves Pyongyang station for the Trump-Kim summit. He's accompanied by his sister Kim Yo-jong and negotiator Kim Yong-chol. 30th of April 2018, I still was stuck with this. My question remains, what security guarantees can Trump provide to Kim that convince him to denuclearize? He can hardly forget what happened to Saddam Hussein and Muammar Gaddafi, both of whom met their ends after being defanged. So the question remains, what security guarantees can Trump provide to Kim? Offering up bulletproof security guarantees is the equivalent of threading this needle. You can watch North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un boarding his special train to the Trump-Kim summit in Hanoi in front of cheering crowds. That's TikTok again. Going back to April 2018 when um, uh, Kim wrote, A new history starts now, an age of peace from the starting point of history. And I was describing the opening shot of Kim Jong-un surrounded by a phalanx of North Korean officials um, later replayed as Chairman Kim sat in the presidential vehicle surrounded by his ninja bodyguards was almost as good as the opening sequence in P.T. Anderson's Boogie Nights. This was cinema at the highest level, which is no surprise when you consider that Kim Jong-il, the father, was obsessed with cinema and amassed arguably the world's largest personal film collection over 20,000 bootlegged 35mm screening copies. He also had a penchant for Hennessy parody cognac and for two years in the mid-1990s was the world's biggest buyer of Hennessy parody cognac, importing up to $800,000 worth of the stuff a year. Kim Jong-il began his career as the head of the state's propaganda and agitation department and it's clear that Kim Jong-un's sister, Kim Yo-jong, holds the same role and evidently handles all the optics and is a chip off the old block. 12th of February, I was talking about how North Korea is the buffer state between China and more than 30,000 US soldiers parked on their doorstep in South Korea. September 2017, when he was still firing rockets, I was quoting uh, a Gravity's Rainbow, Thomas Pynchon, um, and in that, uh, they're trying to uncover the secret of a mysterious device named the Schwarzgerät, the black device, slated to be installed in a rocket with the serial number 0000. 000, 000, 000. And I said, as, I, as the world watched Pyongyang, I cannot help wondering if Kim Jong-un has read Pynchon, which speaks of a, cre a screaming comes across the sky. It is a curve each of them feels, unmistakably. It is the parabola. They must have guessed once or twice, guessed and refused to believe that everything always collectively had been moving toward that purified shape latent in the sky, that shape of no surprise, no second chance, no return. And to show you how far the regime has come, I take you back to November 2010, when I was saying far away in distant lands lies the hermit kingdom. And they've all had tiny little hands like the elves and the elves and the shoemaker. You can watch Kim Jong-un boarding his special train in this TikTok footage. So we've got quite an interesting scenario developing. Uh, Trump clearly wants a deal. 